That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. During the build-up to Apollo, I found myself really among common sentiments of regard for what we were doing. When you're young, you've got a God-given right to change the world. That's how all young people feel. And here we were being given blank checks to do it. And we couldn't see any ceilings on our opportunities. We really thought we were redesigning the social, economic, and essentially the management of human societies on a path toward a space age era. Everything we'd done previously before the actual attempt at the landing, right up to the point just essentially eight kilometers above the moon, we'd done on previous flights. And that last eight kilometers, going down to the surface, flying around the curvature of the moon, much of that was completely new ground. We'd never done that before. The expectation was raised very, very highly indeed. And as we came to that landing point, we were seeing lots of things that began to appear that gave us a heart-stopping series of several moments as the crew were getting to the surface. The Eagle has landed. While the actual landing itself was only the beginning of three minutes of frantic evaluation to see if the spacecraft was in a condition where it could stay and not have to immediately lift off because of some damage that had been incurred. I think that emotional upwelling and that tremendous sense of what had been accomplished just did push everything else aside for a matter of seconds. And I personally felt physically sick as though I was going to throw up. And then it was back into monitoring and you knew that there would be time it was only the beginning of 21, 22 hours on the surface, and those 22 hours would be crucial, and we had the moonwalk still to come up with. Suddenly there was a unifying sense of, oh my God, we've actually achieved this. And it was almost as though we hadn't expected to, and yet we knew we did expect to. And it was that very, very strange otherworldly feeling, which is appropriate, I guess, since it was on the moon. <laughs> yeah, radio out clear, how's it going? Roger, the EVA Looking back, you know, I think we had an extraordinary sense of acceptance and just could not retain that emotional connection until after it was all over, after the Apollo program was done, a done deal. You could sit back and reflect and it all began to wash over you, just what had been accomplished. And looking back 50 years, it seems even greater than we felt it was at the time. And that's an amazing feeling, an amazing experience. Indeed, they've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface.